here. I've cut and exposed socks and shoes are off. I'm just showing you um, the packaging of this. So what we're going to need to get out, uh, we're going to use a blanket, and then we're going to want to get out our zap straps and triangular package as well. Um, so how we're going to stabilize this is we're going to put a blanket between the legs, and then the idea is that we're going to be, um, sorry, stabilizing uh, the broken leg to the good leg. Um, so that is called, we refer to that as an anatomical split. Um, so I've got the blanket between the legs and then I'm gonna get the zap straps out. And what I'm gonna be doing is two straps, um, on the upper portion of the leg and one strap at the bottom. Uh, now usually the idea behind this is we wanna go above and below the break, but because we've got a upper third femur, we can't actually get too high above that fracture with our zap. So we're actually gonna put two straps below the break and then one at the bottom to stabilize the legs together. So, um, When you're using zaps on the legs, um, try your best to identify, especially if it's a closed fracture, where the actual break itself is, so that we don't go directly on top of the fracture with our bandages. Um, Also potentially threatening like 
pushing that bone into an artery. Mm -hmm. okay, the idea around that. Yeah, because your femoral artery would be in that area, right? Very much something that you're having to do it. Yep. <laughs> so yeah. 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 Yeah.